Hey guys, ever wanted to know how to set up a good quality double-sided banner? Well, here's some steps that I take every time that I make with double-sided banners. And first things first, let's make sure the rule's right. So one of the first things I check out is when I'm loading up my material on the printer, I gotta make sure that when my roll takes up, it's gonna be straight. And right now, it's quite a bit off, so I gotta make sure I tap this in and get this to where I'm looking for pretty accurate. Uh, not too far off, because what I wanna make sure of is when I flip this around and put it in, that it's actually gonna take up correctly on the back side as well. So here I am at the back of the printer, and here I'm just checking to make sure there's not going to be any issues, and I'm looking for like like little flakes of like material dust or whatever that may cause some any kind of banding, any kind of issues with the heads. So I want to make sure that's nice and clean. I want to check out my roll, make sure that's really flush and straight, and it's going up and it's loaded correctly. And I just want to look to see if there's like any obstructions, anything in my way. I mean, so far everything looks really good. But these are just the steps you have to take to make sure you get a good quality banner. Okay guys, the next thing you want to check is your media feed. So right now, I've made my adjustments. You can see I was a little high here. This one's pretty much dead on. And for the center one, this is what I really want to see. That one's just a tiny bit high, but you can see how much it changed just from the last one. And that one's looking really good too. So we're in a good spot to go ahead and start printing. But first we gotta do is, uh, we're gonna move the media forward and make sure that we have enough slack so when we print the reverse side, we have enough material to load back up. I know it's a little loud in here. I have the filter on, so I apologize if that's problem but I just wanted to show you this is what I do when I set up for a double-sided banner um, the banners have already been printed on the front side now I'm gonna flip I'm basically gonna flip them over and print the back sides now but this is what I do first so let me let me show you that okay so this is the end of the banner so I'm gonna go ahead and forward it off so what I'm doing is I'm just going to advance it so it's gonna get past the heating element or the heating uh, the, just the heating section of the printer wherever it dries your print um, I'd like to give it about almost two feet a little bit more than that uh, for a good wrap around so that's what I'm doing now and I'm gonna cut this off and get the other side going okay guys so here's the first step first you got to make sure that you're you're lined up and that your graphic is going to go out in the right direction of the way you intend it to go. Once that's confirmed and you're good to go on that, what you want to do is I feed out my material so I can get past the amount that I set up and I'm going to look for my mark. Okay, so I've just gone in here to check for my mark. There it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pin right here, give it some pressure. And then I'm going to flip it over right away, and I'm going to look for that mark, and I found it right here. Okay, that's going to be where I'm going to start. Okay, so this really comes down to your printer and the way you're setting up. You'll notice like little, um, little intricacies that your own printer does. So for me, what I understand about this printer is that right here I have a mark so I marked this with a white aquarellable or stabilo and that way I know that's where my media is going to start but what I also know is that oh, I'm sorry where my print's going to start and what I also know is that it always advances by like one turn of the media uh, rolls here so I'm already considering that it's going to roll forward and then it's going to start printing so that's why you can see my mark is a little bit higher than where it's going to start. But what I did first is I lined this up 
to this mark, and then I go back one because I know it's going to come forward and then start printing. And you'll see what I say, uh, see what I mean in a minute. Um, but this is uh, pretty accurate, and I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's as close as you're going to get on this type of machine. So this is how I do it. So check it out. All right, guys, in just a moment, this is going to start printing. And hopefully you can see through this right here. But we're going to go ahead and see how, how accurate I was today. OK, so I can see already that it was slightly off. But you'll see as it prints out here. So that's how far I was off. I call that about an eighth of an inch. So all in all said and done, this banner is a bit over uh, 12 feet. Eighth of an inch isn't going to make a huge difference. And I already, when I set these up, I already built in a potential for error. So we have a little bit of wiggle room as we print. So always something to keep in mind when you're uh, producing something. Leave yourself a little bit of uh, wiggle room around just to make sure you can print and print accurately.